happen. So guess what I was called to school? <laughs> Teacher's pet. Um, anyway, um, one thing is, I'm hard of hearing. Uh, so, if you're whispering at the back, I might think you're heckling. Yeah, I think you're like a fat or a lesbian. I don't know what to say. Or I can hear a pin drop behind me, because you know, hearing aids is they go on the back of your ear and the microphone can't point backwards. And <laughs> so I, I, I actually didn't quite chance. I did some extreme road crossing to get here. I'll tell you a bit more about that in a second. But anyway, I had the NHS hearing aid. They're very expensive, but they want to minimise the amount of people who have these. So, um, imagine, you wear glasses, well you wear glasses, certainly I can see you wear glasses. I can't see who wears lenses. Well, it's like, isn't that good? But, um, <laughs> if actually, if instead of actually using your eyesight, they actually put antennae on your head. That's what the equivalent to a hearing aid and sort of signals into your brain by Morse code. That's what a hearing aid is like. So, um, you're walking down the road and you hear this beeping lorry down the mile, half a mile down the road, beeping, and you leap out of its way straight into the path of a approaching car. <laughs> Is anyone hard of hearing here tonight? Oh. Yeah. What? That's my point. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, my main thrust of conversation is security. I actually came down here tonight quite angry. Three computers that I could not get on Facebook. Uh, and passwords. I mean, they're fail words. Or, uh, no, no passwords. Go straight to jail words. <laughs> um, a pin number would not personally identify me in a million years because it's going to be one, two, three, four, or zero, 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 zero. It would identify everybody. They're just amazing. The only person who, uh, the only security, the only person who's kept out security is me. Um, one classic example. Has anyone had the bank asking them if they? Their own use of their card is their own transactions. Is anyone actually? Yes. Yes. Oh wow, amazing. I mean, it's, it's amazing. I had this message on Monday. It took me through six transactions. One of which I made made out to be very dodgy activity. <laughs> Expect me to remember all these little grocer in the UK. <laughs> all these little transactions. Um, and they blocked most of them. But anyway, I mean, I came back from Amsterdam once. I got stuck at Amps at he Luton Airport. That's the one. And <laughs> I tried to buy a ticket. Wouldn't let me. So I actually had to pay a tax drive, twenty pound extra, just to let me uh, come back to Crouch End. I thought that because they'd been giving me a little bit of money each day, if it was after midnight, it'd give me a bit more money. No. Got him to a message. Hello, it's the bank calling. We've got, we noticed it's got your voicemail. You seem to be in Amsterdam on holiday. But when you get back, could you give us a call? Because there's been suspicious. So, I can't say that word. Suspicious. I haven't got a drink to it. Suspicious activity going on in Amsterdam. Now, there's some extra activity in Amsterdam and activity in Crouchen. Perhaps there could be some suspicious activity going on. But no, it was sort of Crouchen, Luton, Plain. Um, Amsterdam, 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 nothing in Amsterdam, 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 You know, there was nothing like London, Shropshire, London, Shropshire. You know, if it takes five hours to get to Shropshire, then you, I could only do that probably once or twice a day. Come on! Great minds... What do you think? Great minds think alike. Small minds. No one else knows what the hell we're going on about! Airport security. Okay. Has anyone been to Gatwick recently? EasyJet. Oh god, yeah. You've got some long winding queue. They're going mascara. Nail polish remover. Uh, liquid eyeliner. Oh, yeah. I didn't know there were any female terrorists. I think I think WMD stands for Woman of Mass Destruction. It always wants to be a femme fatale. Uh, so they get to the chicken. Yes, the check-in. You see, I'm trying to squeeze all my material. Sorry, not picking up. Yes, check-in. Again, you pack this bag yourself. 
And I said, well, I've unpacked it and repacked it five times in the queue. Um, but I've got my terrace balloting, my terrace balloting service to stand with bird flu. He thought biological warfare was the best way to achieve world domination. I have to have someone just to make sure I'm up to speed with all the latest, you know, things going on the different airports. So, yeah, I guess really confiscate my porridge, raisins, apricot, I made it that morning. And, and also, raisins, apricots, and must have been crystallised semtex. Uh, and then I realised I've lost, I've left behind my driving licence, my cotton wool bud, and my address to the hotel. Nothing wants to make you go into the cockpit and say, bring her down in crouch end, or I'm going to pull out your nose hairs with my eyebrow tweezers. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you all have a lovely holiday wherever you go, if you get there. Thank you very much.